Dude, your show sucked. Why don't you get funny? Oh man, you're probably right. I I <laughs> I'm always de-escalating. Like I let me try. Let's I, just try. <laughs> I had a I I had a, a gal that I dated in New York when I first moved here, and she was like, she thought that she was like really tough in fighting because she was really good at yeah. flag football, but she didn't realize that she's like talking smack to some dangerous bitches in New York City, and so she would always pick fights with these women. And then the boyfriend would have to come over and be like, what's up, dude? And I'd be like, dude, act like you're like really yelling at me. Like act like you're, and they'd be like, what? And I'd be like, dude, just like, you're getting the best of me. But I was like, I was like, then we're, I'm going to go buy you a beer. Mm -hmm. And like, like, but I was like, do you, we don't want to fight. Cause there's a saying in fighting that one person goes to jail and one person goes to the hospital. Right. So like, and you don't want to go to either of those places. So like, I don't, I don't want to fight. Like I, it's, I'm also like, we say in Boston, one person goes to the hospital, the other guy high fives all his friends and gets his <laughs> dead <dick> talk. <laughs> what if that's what it could have been happening the whole time? Yeah, dude. I could have just been winning fights and getting my dead. Yeah, yeah, you'd be like, what's up? Yeah, baby. We're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the facts. The YKW Dude Podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started. Before them all. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the bandana, man? I'm sorry. It's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. What's up, everybody? You know what, dude? We're back in the studio above the Comedy Cellar. I'm here with the Tizzy Three. We just got done doing a show over at the Pussycat Lounge. This mic is hot. <laughs> it's hot, and I'm psyched about it. Um, we got a very special show on You Know What, dude? We got the people live watching and the Patreon. Hey, here's the deal. That was my dead throat. <laughs> here's the deal. If you're watching on uh, YouTube right now, just subscribe. Just hit the button. Hit like and comment or whatever. Just do me that favor. You're watching this. Thousands of people watch this show every week on the YouTubes, and I need you to subscribe. Be a subscriber. Uh, and if you want to really support the show, you want to watch it live, get the extra episode, be in the chat right now. There's people in the chat commenting, all that stuff. You want to get vicious, get into the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. That's all you got to do. Go there. It's like five bucks or something like that. Ten bucks. Let's say it. it's nothing. Click it. Support the show. I can feed the Tizzy Three. <laughs> they're off. Uh, dead. Uh, they're <laughs> dead. Paper clips and <laughs> dead. <laughs> and bullets. That's what they eat. I don't know what the <laughs> they eat. Anywho, uh, I just jammed down a uh, protein bar because I'm trying. I'm back in, baby. I worked out. Dead. Three days is <laughs> I'm back in, but we got a great show for tonight. Let's just get to it. He just jumped off stage and jumped up here. I've known this man for a long time. We jacuzzi together with some chick in Florida. <laughs> uh, he he was my middle act back when he was a little baby, little middler. Mm -hmm. And he middled for me in Ybor City at the Improv. That's how far it was before I played side splitters. He was there with me, and uh, we had a great weekend, and we've been uh, friendly ever since and friends ever since, and uh, he's blown up since then, knocking it out of the fucking park, park and uh, let's give it up. Pete Lee, man. How's Dude, it going? It's so good to be here. It's so funny. I had a memory of those titties in the hot tub the other day. Did we see the titties? Yeah, you you were like, because- uh, hey, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's oh, oh. Uh, Make sure the timestamp's good on this. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was at least 25 years ago. <laughs> I think that was 25 years ago. Yeah, we were both. Well, we, I had hair. Well, neither of us. Yeah, neither of us did anything with this lady, but she, uh, she was uh, like a friend of a friend. Yeah. And then we were like all in the hot tub, and you were like trying to do me a solid to try to hook me up with her. Yeah. And then you're like, "Why don't you show Pete your tits?" And then she was like, "Okay." And then you like you got up and left like pretty quickly after that. And then yeah. I just had no ability to seal the deal with the girl that had already showed me her tits. Yeah, you were uh, you were dead. a rubber band, dude. You sucked, dude. I suck. You really fucked. I mean, dude. We're in Ebor. 
Ebor City, which is just pure debauchery after eight o'clock. Yeah, I had like a bottle of wine that I had taken from the club that night. Like I had all the tools to succeed. We, she was at the show. She was. At we the both show. killed. I think she wound up staying at the at the comedy condo and like sleeping on the couch. Which with like, you, you know, not with me, but like like alone. But you know that you don't want to have sex with somebody when you'll sleep on a comedy condo couch <laughs> instead of sleeping in a bed. Like that's how yeah. badly I she, messed it up. <laughs> She was, uh, yeah, we were. I remember we came out after the show, and Ebo City people don't know this. After eight o'clock or eight thirty, it turns into hell. Yeah, all day long it is a tourist trap. It's beautiful. They have great restaurants and all kinds of stuff, and then they have comedy shows and movie theaters, and it's families and and and, and old couples and and then around eight thirty nine o'clock, the riffraff steps in. I, and I didn't know that. I remember we came out with her, mm -hmm. and there was yeah. cops everywhere. Cops everywhere. And, like, every gang member in in northern Florida yes. is there, and they're walking around. I actually, have you ever, like, gone out with cops? Like, like uh, cops, off-duty cops? Uh, I, had, uh, I had a family member that was a police officer down there, and uh, he's still alive and stuff like that, but he's just not a police officer. But him and his friends... We're just shoving each other into gang members and like laughing about it. And I'm like, how like like how jaded are you? How much crime have you seen that you're just like, yeah, we'll handle it. But like they thought it was funny in Ybor City just well, to shove each other into the well, gang when, dude. They're not when you say cops, I don't mean guys in uniform with hats. Yeah. I'm talking there was a guy with a vest, mm -hmm. a leather vest, and just a chain badge. Yeah. I mean, and another guy had a mesh shirt with a chain badge. This was like Miami Vice or some video game cop. Yeah, like you have to get promoted at least three levels in the force to have like street clothes with the chain and the badge. Like <laughs> yeah, that, dude. that's also one of the coolest looks in the world. Uh, I was doing, I was joking around about uh, cocaine uh, in Milwaukee and just like because I think it's funny for me to talk about it. I think that's hilarious. And then I was like, oh, I'll be selling it after the show with my T-shirts. And this lady came up and she slapped her badge down on the table like a really heavy leather and metal thing. Yeah, and she goes, I will have one cocaine. Cocaine, sir, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like it all got really serious. I was just joking. Please around. tell me you said, "Well, you have to suck my dick." Get it, ma'am, <laughs> <laughs> officer. Yeah, don't you know the price of cocaine? That's, yeah, that's the street. That's I don't street charge value. money. I charge services, yeah. officer. <laughs> <laughs> so huh. I, get, I get put in jail for two things: soliciting huh. and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had sex with a cop? Uh no. no, I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> I yeah, I I don't yeah. Have you ever had sex with a cop? Yes. All right, timestamp it. <laughs> uh, his name was no. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, and he forced it on me. <laughs> it was kind of, it was like a bad lieutenant thing. He pulled me over, and then he goes, <laughs> da, da. Uh, All right, we gotta we gotta beep that because we're gonna do stuff. Here's the thing though. That <laughs> night we were in the jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember we were sitting there, and I remember how terrified we were. Because there was just cops everywhere, sirens going off, and there was helicopters just hovering over Ybor City. Yeah. And we were like, dude, there's mur like murders. Ha like, we would hear screams. Yeah. It we was really gnarly. And by the way, your jacuzzi was at the Hilton Garden Inn Hotel that yeah. they have in Ybor City. So we got behind the gates of the Hilton Garden Inn, and we were like, finally, safety. <laughs> we were behind the gates, but we could. there were only little tiny gates that could literally hop. We were in there in our shorts. <laughs> Yeah, you could actually reach over it and just, <laughs> just grab, grab the us. handle if you're big enough. Uh, I would have let them take her in two seconds. Dude, you were so funny that week. And I remember I was like trying to figure out those Florida crowds. And, yeah. Like you, I, I remember we would go to like Dave and Buster's and play games and stuff like that. <laughs> and we would play chess during the day. And so not only were you just like, like wiping the floor with me on stage, which you should have been. You're, you know, headline and whatnot. But then every time you'd beat me at a game, you'd be like, "Yeah, I've been yeah. fucking you up all week on stage, <laughs> and then I just beat you at, at air hockey, or like I just wow. beat you at this." And I was like, "I, I, if you weren't so funny, I would have been demoralized." <laughs> I mean, what a dick I am! Jesus Christ, <laughs> was I really doing? You I were, was just mushing you were, your face into it. <laughs> you were mushing my face into it. But I remember just like I was like I thought it was awesome because you were, you were being so hilarious in your. Uh, like in your taunts and stuff, and you also were like a hundred percent correct about it. Like, like you were, you were winning at every game that we played, and then on stage, like I would be on stage, and like I think that I only had to do twenty minutes, and I still couldn't even figure out which part of my. Because at that point, I was like, I'm from the Midwest, and they were like, we don't care. It was a hard club though, because mm. it, that club, and that's why I stopped playing that room. It was three levels. Yeah, it was like three levels that went straight up. 
and they had two stages. They had the upper stage and then this down stage. It was a hard room to corral. Yeah. And you're talking about tourists, man. These weren't these are these are just dead people. They lumped in there. I wasn't really packing them in either. So it wasn't it was, you know, it was yeah. It was a hard room to to do. You would like every single show you would fill up the full lower level, which the full lower level was like 300 people just to fill up the lower <laughs> level. And then there was a second tier and then the third oh, tier. Oh, the third tier. Yeah, it was terrible. It was, and you couldn't even go to their green room. Was on the third tier. Yeah. So like you'd hear, "Are you guys ready?" And you'd have to run and then wait take, for an elevator. Yeah, wait for an elevator. Can I tell you the joke that I played on Jeff Dunham at that club? I don't know if I told you about it. Would uh, you fuck his puppet, dude? I fucked it so hard, <laughs> Did you? dude. Soft mouth. <laughs> that, that he put his it. hand in. He was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> you, you see his mouth move. Oh! <laughs> For some reason, I didn't even think about going up that way. I like went mouth with it. <laughs> you went um, mouth. But you, you, yeah, you made me like gay fuck the puck. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got a big dick. I, yeah, you know, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, here's that. the thing I remember about you, which I, st I mean, it really interests me, because I remember you were telling me that, and it bl it just blew me away because to me, comics didn't do other things. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I hung out with Norton and and Patrice and Billy and you know Nor I mean and Voss and and Keith and we we didn't do other things. We we slept all day, got some lunch, played some stupid sports, and then went to the clubs yeah. all night. And we as you know all night long until the fucking sun came up, and we did it all over again. Yeah. But you you were, you were running. You were swimming. And doing triathlons, I think. I was doing triathlons. I, I remember um, you swam in the Hudson River. Yeah, I did the New York City triathlon six years, I, and I swam in the Hudson. I got stung in the face by a jellyfish one time. <laughs> it was crazy. Like uh, they, so the the tide had come up, which meant that like all the creatures in the ocean also came up the Hudson River. So uh, like I, there were probably sharks in there. I don't know, but uh, there all the jellyfish were just like, well, I go wherever the tide goes. <laughs> and I remember. Um, like uh like people were just getting stung left and right and i was like well it's and like people are like kind of yelling in the water because it hurts so bad and then somebody was like jellyfish and i was like well i'm almost done i haven't gotten stung and then this jellyfish goes <laughs> um is there a beeping there's a, yeah do you hear that yeah i heard a what beeping. is that that's something outside oh sorry we're in new york city oh yeah we have the sounds of the city yeah well you're gonna hear artie or somebody scream in a minute too oh really yeah somebody sharad be like yeah yeah oh yeah <laughs> i saw sharad last night he um can I bring up some controversy with Sherrod? Yeah. He uh he RSVP'd my wedding and just didn't show up. And um and my wife was like, she was like, Are you gonna have like a talk with him or is that gonna be like the end of the friendship? And I was like, No, I'm just gonna be like, Hey man, I'm glad you're okay. Like like yeah. Well, I don't understand. He said he's gonna come. He RSVP'd. Uh we we're on a text thread. He's like, dude, I can't wait. Like single women, all this stuff. And then he just <laughs> didn't he just didn't fucking show up. rapey. Yeah, he, well. Yo, single women I can touch. <laughs> what? <laughs> single women. <laughs> yeah, you're like, sure, that's kind of everywhere you go. There's like a lot of single women. But yeah, my wife, she thought that it was going to be some sort of like, you know, like girl real, thing. Real quick, you know he's black, right? Oh, he, oh he's black. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> you can't. We have to whisper that word. He's yeah, you can't. You can't. <laughs> you know he's. Yeah, dude. He's got. He can't. You know what I mean? So yeah. like yes, Lenny Marcus RSVP'd and didn't show up. That's a whole that's he's a whole. he's he's at, he actually didn't no show. He just isn't there yet. Oh Jesus. Rich Voss is calling me. Rich um, Voss every once in a while he'll call me and he'll yeah. go, Pete Lee, I'm a headliner. And then he'll just hang up. <laughs> it's so funny. I love Rich so much. I do too. I love him. All um, of you guys are like really great, sweet people, but like, um, like I always had this impression that you're just gonna eviscerate me. And now, like, some of the people that were the scariest people at the cellar table, like you're just the nicest people in my life. You know? Well, we we were we were just fucking comics, dude, and that's yeah. what comics did. We have made fun of each other. We made fun. People used to be like, "Oh, you guys are so mean, dude." Fuck you. We made fun of each other worse than anybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um. But it was, you know, no, we weren't, we're, no, none of those guys are, I mean, I, Voss is the meanest person I know. Norton is the, fight, can be vicious. You know what I mean? I mean, absolutely. I think we've settled down in age, but, um, I mean, but here's a problem with you. Oh, now he's calling him. What? Is there, what do you want me to do? Put it on speaker. Is there a Yo, emergency? What's up? Yo. What's up, are buddy? Are you doing your podcast? Yeah, I'm upstairs with Pete Lee right now. Whoa, how'd you get Pete Lee? <laughs> <laughs> I had a, 
fuck? I know. I talk. I had to get in touch with. I had to get in touch with Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, did me a solid. <laughs> Whoa, unbelievable. Okay. Uh, Where are you? Holy shit. I want to come just take a picture with Mr. Lee. Sure, come on up. Take uh, yeah. a picture real quick. Well, I, well, how long are you going to be going? I'm driving. Where, I mean, I'm not far. We're, we're here for a while. We just started. You just started? Okay, I got oh, to go. Does, cause Mr. Lee, <laughs> does Mr. Lee need me to bring anything? Do you need Show anything? Up. Mr. Voss wants to know if you need anything. Yeah, maybe like a few jokes or something. He needs a couple jokes. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have an hour. Uh, <laughs> listen, yeah. listen there, Pete Lee doesn't need jokes. Pete Lee's a joke monster. Yeah, he is. So if, you can't see, if you can't go see Jim Gaffigan, go see Pete Lee. Uh, <laughs> we were just talking about his t shirt that. that says From the River to the Sea. Uh, we'll see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> One time. Um, but you guys just stop really oh yeah. quick. Pete. Even back then, you were such a sweet guy, but you, you, you were very, you did, look at, when I first met you, you were so nice, so sweet, real, you have that, hey, how are you, what's going on, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm a dick, hey, what's up, you know, whatever the fuck I was doing to you, but then I found out you did all this manly shit, like oh. swimming in the Hudson, doing a triathlon, I mean, that's, that's manly shit, like you're an athlete. I'm an athlete, and like I've worked construction in my life, I, yeah. you know, yeah, I've done, uh, yeah, I've, I've I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. I've kickboxed uh, competitively. Um, but yeah, I mean, wait a minute. But stop. my whole personality is centered around like, I don't want any conflict. I don't want yeah. I don't want to get into a fight. You know? But if you could, you'd fucking murder somebody. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe. But now I'm 46. So like I, I could just probably make it so that I could like mitigate the damage, you know? All right. I want to know if you're going to get mad at somebody, if someone pushes you to the limit. Yeah. I'm going to push you to the limit right now. Let's you, push me to the limit. And you, and you just... This is an acting thing. You don't have to hit me, really. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Even, but like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push you to the limit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say some shit to you, and you, you, you fucking put you. I want to see what you'd say. Yeah. Hey, listen, bitch. Why don't you fucking shut your face? Why don't you shut it? <laughs> <laughs> You're a black belt in what? I'm, a, I'm a black. Are you belt a black belt in politeness? Yeah, I'm a black belt in that. And uh, all right, how about this, dude? Your show sucked. Why don't you get funny? Oh man, you're probably right. I I I'm always de-escalating. Like I let me try. Let's I, just try. Let's I had a I I had a, a gal that I dated in New York when I first moved here, and she was like, she thought that she was like really tough in fighting because she was really good at yeah. flag football, but she didn't realize that she's like talking smack to some dangerous bitches in New York City, and so she would always pick fights with these women. And then the boyfriend would have to come over and be like, what's up, dude? And I'd be like, dude, act like you're like really yelling at me. Like, act like you're, and they'd be like, what? And I'd be like, dude, just like, you're getting the best of me. But I was like, I was like, then we're, I'm going to go buy you a beer. Mm -hmm. And like, like, but I was like, do you, we don't want to fight. Cause there's a saying in fighting that one person goes to jail and one person goes to the hospital. Right. So like, and you don't want to go to either of those places. So like, I don't, I don't want to fight. Like I, it's, I'm also like, we say in Boston, one person goes to the hospital, the other guy high fives all his friends and gets his dick sucked. <laughs> what if that's what could have been happening the whole time? Yeah, dude. I could have just been winning fights and getting my dick sucked. Yeah, you'd be like, what's up? Dick yeah. sucked. Dude, I would have been in that guy getting my dick sucked while I wear sunglasses. That, <laughs> that to me feels like the most badass thing in the world. Like, yeah, dude, I don't even have to look. That's, that's one of those fucking things that they say. I know they say that in fighting, and it is a good saying. Yeah. But, dude. If some dude's being a dickhead and you knock him the fuck out, yeah. you, you're going to be a hero to a lot of people. Well, the last time I fought, it was in New York City. I um, I had a place on 62nd and 2nd, and uh, my dry cleaner, his name was Cho. He had the same last name as me. Um, Cho Lee? Cho Lee. Yeah, we got to get into that, too. Why do you have yeah. an Asian last name? Um, Well, it's British. Lee is a British last name, and British just, like, fucked their way around the globe. And so uh, I think Lee... Well, I guess there were dynasties where there were Lees a long time ago, but I think like the modern spelling of it, L E E, is like a British spelling. Bobby Lee is British. I guess so. I oh my god! I he don't is. know what he is. I don't. I don't know what that. <laughs> he's yeah. a creature. He really. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bobby seems like I like that. I didn't say it, Bobby. I don't need that little fucking creature attacking me. Hey, Bobby. I don't even know you, but uh, what I was trying to say is, there's nobody like you. You're gonna try. You're trying to say five different Asians fuck to make you. <laughs> <laughs> and one British guy. <laughs> oh God! I was gonna elaborate, but then I'm like, oh, then he knows uh, kung fu too. Oh, he knows, he knows kung fu. Yeah, but he's not a black belt. Oh. Here we go. Read it out loud. Uh, 
It means a uh, a meadow or a forest clear clearing. Oh, Lee. All right, there you go. That's Pete Meadow. Wait a minute. Lee is the name in Ireland has uh, several diverse uh, origins. Uh, resulting in widely dispensed clutter of the name in southern west. I mean, there's a. I mean, it's Irish. It's England. It's no, Norway. In, in Norway, yeah. it means you're a liar. What oh, is, really? What does it mean in China? In China, it means plum tree. You're a plum tree. I'm a plum tree. You know what? Well, isn't that delightful? That goes with Bobby Lee. Yeah, Look, that, you, yeah. He is a plum tree. He is a plum tree. A little plum, cutie little he's, plum tree. I do love Bobby Lee, and he's absolutely hilarious, so I'm sorry I called you a creature, Bobby. Yeah, he's all right. He's a, yeah. He, Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start a war. I like that you downgraded. Yeah, he's all right. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I don't even know how we were, what we were saying. Um, I'm saying that you... Here's the thing with you, is that you... You, when I when I met you, you're such a sweet guy, but you you I I found out that you're this you're a man. Like you're more of a I mean, you did more manly shit than I did. I'm playing video game, I'm playing Tekken, I'm playing Tekken with Patrice yeah. until three in the morning and then getting a f smoking a cigarette with a post. Yeah. You're out running marathons, riding bikes, and swimming through jellyfish, shark infested waters, yeah, being a goddamn athlete, and all of a sudden here you come. You went away. Mm -hmm. You work and you work. I don't know where you went, but I know you went away. You're in New York. Uh, I, w I went to L.A. Okay, you went yeah. to L.A. and because you, you were here and you disappeared and you're gone. And then all of a sudden, you come back, dude, and you're killing it. Oh, thank you. And yeah. I think, and I could be wrong, it's The Tonight Show. I think it was The Tonight Show. I think that gave me the confidence. Um, well, honestly, all of that started happening before I left here because when we started doing This Week at the Comedy Cellar, you know, we like we would write like 20 minutes of new stuff, you know, uh, like for because they'd send that that breakdown. And that was like and then we had to do that on television. And that was like a realization because I had written for TV shows before. And I was like, wait, I could write 20 minutes of new stand up, uh, you know, a week. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And I would do that. And Liz would just like let me go on for as long as I had new stuff for those tapings. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, uh, um I, like then I moved to LA and I was actually flying back and forth between here and there to do to do that show. And so I remember just like starting to generate stand up on like like a higher mass level than I ever had before. And I think that's where things really took off because like if you write a lot, you're gonna write some good things. You know? Yeah. Whereas before I think I was like scared to write. Like like I'd be I would write a good joke and then I'd be like, Oh man, the next one I write has to be like a really good joke. Yeah. But that's never gonna happen. Well, I mean, I'm in a writer's thing right now for the last year. Cause uh I just I just kind of broke out of it this weekend. Oh, like a slump? Uh, you went through a little I just, I just I didn't know how to write anymore. I just forgot, you know, the last two jokes that I wrote that were cool, I wrote on stage. Yeah. And this weekend I was just like, sit down. And write, mm -hmm. and it fu it was sucked. It just sucked. And I actually went on stage tonight. I did it that night, and it actually worked. And I was like, "Ooh, good." Mm -hmm. And the next night, I pussied out because the crowd wasn't as good as the night before. I fucking pussied out. And then tonight, I just opened with it. Oh, that kind of like I I brought it right in the open. I'm like, "Fuck it," mm -hmm. and it there's something there. But it's writing is a is a is a tough thing, especially when you're writing from. Uh, if you're writing from experience of your life, but if you're writing topical stuff or yeah anything, you know. Hey, Rich Foss. Oh boy. What do you do? You have a tent? It's a golf net. Oh, it's a golf net you bought. Ah okay. oh, man, well, my son. <laughs> why would you throw it and break it? You can't break a net, stupid. Can you stop screaming into the air, dum dum? Oh, yeah, he's trying to get into our microphones. By the way, I had stage sweat when I came up here, and now I have little spots on my shirt. I, that won't pick up. It won't pick up. Oh, it will, right. but I'm going to tell you it yeah. won't, so you'll be okay. Yeah, so I'll be No, we'll, a, we AI it out. Yeah. Oh, we'll yeah. Use, yeah. We'll use yeah, yeah, you have total AI. Oh, wow. Oh, did you forget your wallet? No, he gave me a Gucci wallet to go with my Gucci sling bag. Of course he did. Rich Voss always has fancy stuff. Um... <laughs> All right, one more time. Hey, pussy, I'll beat the shit out of you. Oh, I bet it'll be great. <laughs> Will you wash your hands first? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't get New York City germs from your punches. <laughs> That's all I want to make sure. <laughs> you don't have it in you. <laughs>
I well, is it because you know you can hurt somebody? Is, yeah. is it the confidence that you know you're strong, you know you have the ability, and you just don't want to do it? Or is it from where you're from? Is because um, you have a persona on stage, bro. Yeah, that's like this. Like cute, I could never handle anybody. Yeah, like this cute little dude. But off stage, you're kind of a regular dude, like you are yeah, now. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, look at my look at how regular I am now. I, <laughs> so, oh, this was the story I was going into. We can tell this until Rich gets back uh, yeah. and claims his golf net. But um, <laughs> my dry cleaner, uh, I I'd, I'd done a red eye flight home, mm-hmm. and then I went to sleep. This is when I lived on the Upper East Side. And then uh, I went to bed and it was like maybe 10 a.m. And I'd gone to bed at like 9 a.m. or something like that. So an hour of sleep and I hear my dry cleaner just going, help, help. And this is Cho. And I'm like, what the hell? So I, I open up my window. I look outside and I see Cho just getting beaten with this pipe. And I remember I threw my pants on. I was all excited because I was like, oh, I get to fight. You know, like I get to fight a guy that deserves it. Right. right like, yeah. Because I don't want to fight somebody, even in a bar, if they're just having a bad day and they're cocking off to me, they don't deserve to get hurt. Would you call it cocking uh, off to you? Yeah, cocking off to me. Like being, I don't know, <laughs> being a cock. I love when cocks are <laughs> Yeah, being a cock. Finally off me. Yeah, being a cock. <laughs> so they do that to Norton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, by the way, I met his uh, his wife. She's a delight. Right? Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I, I ran down the stairs and then I'm running outside and there was this like giant uh fitness instructor guy that he did those like videos Mm -hmm. and he's like running out of his place but he was like a few steps behind where i was at and we were both looking at each other like oh dude like which one of us is gonna knock this guy out (laughs) wait wait start who are you running from um so uh so my dry cleaner i i came home from red eye flight and he was getting beat beaten by a crackhead with a pipe that was trying to rob his not a crack pipe not a crack oh, yeah. pipe. No, no, that would be very brittle. <laughs> this was like a, like a metal pipe, like the, with like the threading on it and stuff Hang on like one that. second. Please don't. You're acting. Don't act enthralled. <laughs> Just look at him. Stop. Tra- <gasps> don't. It this stinks. is a great story. It is a good story. <laughs> I mean, you're a dry cleaner, crack I'm a pipe? Are you kidding me? Is this supposed to be a one-on-one? Because I'll leave. I don't want to interrupt. No, you're I, in now. Is, you're already you're in now. This is like a fucking, you know, like a Ron Bennington unmasked or something. It's not unmasked. It's just the show. You're in now. Okay, so you're he's beating a dry cleaner with a pipe. He's beating him, and uh, and there's blood and all this stuff. But because I I used to be a martial artist, I like my controlling thought was like, oh, I get to fight. Like, I was so excited because he... Yeah, because he never fights. He doesn't want to fight. Even in a situation to... where a guy maybe should get a beaten... He doesn't want to, he just kind of de-escalates the thing. But now he saw his dry cleaner guy getting beaten up by a guy with a pipe. So it's like, I get to, I have to do this now. Yeah. He's excited that he gets to use all his, all my skills. And so I, so I'm running out and I see this other guy that also wants to knock the guy out and we're making eye contact, but I know that I'm like three steps away from it. And I just punch the guy in the face. I knock him out. And I literally, I grab his jacket before he hits the ground. Cause that's the worst thing that could happen. If they hit their head. If they hit their head. And then yeah. there's like, they a look like Bobby or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Good looking. <laughs> What? Why? What? What does that mean? I don't know. I but he you, laughed. I hope you matter. fall and Bonnie's not home and you can't get up. Yeah, I hope she's not home. <laughs> I'm so glad Rich is here because you've been being so nice to me, but you get to be really mean to him. <laughs> I'm like, you can be mean to me too, but like, like I, uh, you, I feel like you two have no a good be, relationship. I don't way. want to be mean to you. I like yes. you, Pete. But yeah, but then we we sat on. So the crackhead was knocked out and he was like twitching, and then me and the big fitness guy we like sat down on him and. Uh, uh, because we're, we're like, when he wakes up, you know, and we're like, somebody call the police. And these traffic cops are walking up. Was the guy like all bloody, really fucked up to clean dry cleaner? My dry just... cleaner was, so, and the cops came and they wanted to arrest the dry cleaner because anybody that's in a street fight. So like, but they just arrest both parties. Because they have to. Because they have to. And I was like, no, 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 he was being robbed. Uh, and then the other cop goes, oh, yeah, I know this guy. He didn't have his medicine. Like, he he does this. Like, he robs people, you know, whatever. And so. Uh, and that means he's on the streets. Oh, yeah. We know this criminal. Yeah, we know this criminal so the real cops show up because the the traffic cops are there but they're not allowed to do anything so we sit on this guy and he's like twitching and like he he gets like he's finally like awake and he's twitching we're trying to keep him down the real cops show up and they go like woo right in the middle of the road like you know how they park one second what do what do they do uh, they go, woo. Oh, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. How do they do it one more time? Woo. <laughs> I mean, I want to add a real one well, in right it, there. I want to add a, I wanna yeah. add a real one and see how real it is. This, this when you think you can't get Michael Winslow. 
Okay. So they they pull into the middle of the street. Well, this is on 62nd between 2nd and 1st. Oh, this is in the, New York. It, yeah, it's in it's in the entrance to the FDR and right where the the uh, 59th Street bridge comes down, right? Mm-hmm. So they block traffic. There's people honking at them like, "Hey assholes, nice drive and, you know, all that kind of stuff." So then uh, they put the criminal in the car, then they lock the car. Well, this was back, this was probably in like, I don't know, like 2012 or whatever. So they locked the keys into the squad car. So then now I'm just sitting on the curb with the cops waiting for their supervisor to come with the keys. And then he comes and he's like, you fuck, you idiots. Like, so they lock the keys in with the, the perp. You don't have any stories from 27, <laughs> 17 and above? <laughs> I mean, 2012, that's a good story in, 24, in 2014, <laughs> but in 2024, a 12 year old story, we're trying to keep this fucking relevant. Yeah, you're like, do you, do you have anything any more going on with you? From when, from when Twitter was new? <laughs> Pete, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Listen, Pete, I have all these I'm beautiful sure. questions I was going to ask you. Oh, look at. I mean, but it is going to point. I mean, what the I fuck? <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> just make I mean, sound that, effects, Pete. It sounds good. The side effects make... made the story. Yeah, they really well, do. Was your uh, dry cleaner Asian or something? He was Asian, and he gave he me no karate. He gave me no. He did not. But he gave me like one ten percent discount one time for saving his life. That was it. That was <laughs> wait. It. But what you are? Mar- what were you like in martial arts? Like he's a black. Style? This is oh, the thing black, I learned. Yeah. I learned about him, and I'll yeah. explain to you, I'll explain to you, is well, that he did triathlons. He's a black belt in Taekwondo. That's what I took. <sighs> yeah, Go but he's it's good. No, yeah, but you took it back in the day from a, show him that picture. What that you took twi- Taekwondo? Cold you weren't a black belt. I was a fucking purple belt, which is brown. What? Wait, what? Are you it, old? The, what the, the fuck? Not it's, red, it's, it, red belt. Just, I said I said you're not a black belt. He said I was a purple belt, which is brown. Well, in some classes they use purple or red or brown. I was like, I, when he said that, I was like, oh, no, it's happening. Like, <laughs> but I don't remember. It was so many fucking years ago. But Rich is finally. He actually, he, he's he actually was in a class with Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pete Lee. <laughs> yeah. Um, Are you related to Bruce? Can you not? No. Is, the worst thing in the world anybody can ever do in 2024 is watch an old guy scroll through photos on his phone. Look at it. You got to yeah. look close at me in this tournament. Yeah. Whoa, that's you? Let me see. Let me see. Wait. You're in the black? Yeah, look at that kick. Look at look at Voss was in Cobra Kai. I yeah. was fucking shit. I yeah, used no, to but he didn't hit the guy. That's a That's fake a thing. It's not a fake thing. No, it's not real. Me? Shut up. I see you throw. I, you couldn't. You can't I, even see the, the belt because it's purple, which is brown. Here's no, a, <laughs> that, that's when I was a green belt. That's when you were a green belt. Yeah. Here's the thing with this, right? Is that <laughs> it's actually pretty good. We're gonna put this up on the uh we're that is put, impressive. That Wait, is pretty you've good. You've won tournaments and stuff? I have, yeah. I was the a three-time Midwestern black belt champion. Get out, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's a black belt. You're a fucking brown purple belt throwing a kick at an old lady. It was a tournament. It's not an yeah, old lady. That was lady. a fucking woman. That was a school teacher. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I thought that, I mean. After the fight. Dude, you're fighting it like, you're fighting a World War II veteran. <laughs> <laughs> so you fought in like tournament did I fought in tournaments and like, stuff uh, like that. Yeah. You know he, was, he was a world champion, right? Not a world champion. I was a so uh, I be- was a world champion water skier. That was a- I mean, this is yeah. why this guy, like me and you, when I was telling him when we used to hang out, all we did was comedy, try to get laid, sleep, smoke, eat, pussy, comedy. Yeah. That's all we did. We didn't do extra oh, I activities. Did. What? I always golf. worked out golf. Ah, uh, yeah, but he this guy's mm-hmm. swam. He's doing triathlons. He's a karate, a yeah, fucking but look taekwondo. Where he is now he's, he's doing a- your podcast. This is my Wait, biggest credit right now. I don't, think, I don't think that's you. It is me. Look at my. You know who I met at a show and I got his autograph. Uh, Bill Wallace. I wish it was really. The, I wish yeah. it was the. Grim oh, that's Reaper. pretty cool. When was that? Oh, was it like 2017 it, and below? <laughs> probably 15 years ago or, or 10 years ago. What was that? <laughs> was I go? Was it 2017 or <laughs> be, was, yeah, after that? <laughs> See, even then, I just want to shit on myself because that, no, was, that this was. This is the problem with. Can I say so this? Long. This is the problem with Pete. He's too nice. He's a good guy. We got Pete's t- always been a good guy. Wait, t- can I ask this? In the the Taekwondo tournament that you were in, were there lights on your side of the place? That, yeah, were you fighting by is, tiki torches? First of all, that's that picture is from. Were you fighting on over, the island that Bruce Lee went to? That picture's over forty years old. Yeah, we okay, know. So we're looking at your face right now, <laughs> and we're looking at that face. 
We understand how old it is, you fucking... By the, by the way, in that camera, you're kind of looking at the camera while you're yes, kicking that guy. Kick. I don't know where the camera... Yeah. You didn't hit the guy. <laughs> you're yes, like... I'm going to... First of all, it was non-contact to the head. It's full contact to the body in, in those tournaments. And I throw a kick around his You head. look like you're dancing. <laughs> That's a fucking, <laughs> look, look at my, you look like you're throwing a fucking ro a rocketeer kick or what a fucking yep <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> oh All right, he's the douche too they got the black key everybody else got white keys yeah I'm getting black key he's yeah, Cobra I Kai no, I don't yeah. know why our school he, had black keys because you're the bad guys you're pieces of shit we did we 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 fucking trained at the Y sometimes mm -hmm. our teacher would take a belt and tie like around your neck and jerk you and off and oh yeah so you had to be connected each other. From this distance, yeah. Or he would say, "You fight those three guys." Oh yeah, we had to do group fighting all the yeah. time in Taekwondo, and uh, it was it was funny because like like I I had friends that they're like, "Well, what if you get jumped by a bunch of guys?" I'm like, "That's how we trained. Like we always trained against a bunch of guys." Yeah. And they're like, "Well, when you're in the studio, how would it go?" I'm like, "Sometimes you get your ass kicked. Like I would go, I would go to school at, like with black eyes, and you know the you went to school with black eyes with black eyes. Yeah, actually, I went in Janesville, Wisconsin. Is that why so. you learned Taekwondo? Because you went to school with black eyes. <laughs> I remember what. Hey that, now, you remember hey the, now. The exercise where you lay on Woo. on your back and you lift your legs for your abs. Yeah. Well, we would do that. Lay on our back, and you know you go back and forth with a scissor or up and down. You and scissored. Our, and then our, <laughs> our instructor would walk on our stomach, and right when he stepped on me, I blew the loudest fart in class. <laughs> I, killed, I was killing back then. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't know you, fucking Taekwondo black gi boss. Oh, yeah. What a dick you were back then. Oh, no, and then I started smoking crack, and I forgot about fucking... <laughs> yeah, you, you forgot know. about that? No. But I guess my, crack would make you forget about that. But like, Pete, let me say this. Yeah. And I want to. I want to help you. Let's get to some bullet points. I, I want to help you <laughs> please, become please. a little meaner. Please. I think why? you need because I think he needs it in life to protect himself. He's in a He's situation. Fucking Watch way. this. Watch this. Ready? Watch this. Yeah. Hey, you fucking shithead. Go fuck yourself. Oh, you want to suck this dick? See. <laughs> <Everybody> <laughs> <mark>. <laughs> Watch this. Hey, you're not funny, you fucking Jew. Go fuck yourself and your mother. See? <laughs> I mean, that's great. I thought I'd throw you off with the with the dick suck offer. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I that's thought... enticing to him. Yeah, oh, yeah, was... he was like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, you, you would that. actually call my bluff and make me <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah, like, I guess. Like, By okay. sucking it really good. Okay, when? <laughs> yeah. All right, I want you to do this. Okay. Rich Voss, you're a sleazy club owner, which you know. Yeah, so you know how to do that. that. That's every club owner, all my except Rory and Mark and Indeed. the guys from uh, uh, Side Slitters and the people from. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm only going with the guys. Corey, that use his me. name's Corey. I say Rory. Corey. You I say Corey. You went Rory. I didn't say Rory. We're <laughs> gonna have to play it back because one of us is wrong. Okay, what well, doesn't matter, Corey? So you did it. You said Rory. I didn't say Rory. <laughs> Huh? I said from Rhode Island. You're I an <laughs> idiot. You never said Rhode Island. I did say Rhode Island. I, uh, I That's why right, nobody it. fucking likes you. you nobody guys, likes you, but you lie. You just make shit up. You're at that stage of life. You I guys, I love, I love visiting my parents like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's a sleazy club owner. He owes you money. You're trying to get your money. Okay. I right, ready? Go ahead. Uh, hey, uh, Rory Corey, Rory Corson. <laughs> Can I, will you please pay me my money? Uh, I'll, I'll fucking Venmo it. Scram. No, you did I, horrible numbers. I know. Wait, I'm just thinking of myself. But to, <laughs> you, but to quote my friend Rich Voss, this ain't a hobby, pal. <laughs> I, I, say, I said you that said to someone. That we did. You and I did a shitty gig out in New Jersey like a decade ago, <laughs> and um, and the guy was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll send you guys. I'll send you the check." And you go, "This ain't a hobby, pal." <laughs> <laughs> I loved that I, so much. Yeah, but I want you to be able to say that. All right, go ahead. Stay in character. See ya. All right, <laughs> no, stay in character. Listen, stop, listen. stop trying to be rich. Be meaner. Go. Uh, Look, you weren't that fucking good. The numbers were bad. All right. Call me tomorrow. Look, the numbers were bad, but that's not part of the deal. You still have to give me the money. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. All right. See, you were he, does, he doesn't even want to be mean to me because he's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pussy with your money. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> you gotta, see, I can't no, even I, do that. You have okay. mean cartoon face. Right. I know. I which that was like uh, anytime that I would fight, I would have pretty much this look on my face, which is way scarier. Let me see. Like just uh, be like, hey, like we're fighting. Yeah. Right? Like uh, the you, other person's bloody, and I'm just like happy. You can get in street <laughs> fights. You I've gotten tournament? into a couple. Yeah, I've gotten into a couple street fights. The I mean, the, well, the pipe thing, and yeah. then I got into one in college. 
um, that I won't go into it, but it went to campus arbitration. Uh, like they had a campus police force. Really? And then, yeah. Why did it go to there? I broke the guy's a uh, couple bones. Where in the ribs or in the face? Where? Uh, it was uh, ribs. This his wrist. Why? And, um, what? What did he deserve it? He was. Um, so I was lab partners with his girlfriend, and I I ran into her at Buffalo Wild Wings, <laughs> oh. and the guy didn't like that. I I was like, hey, can I buy you a beer? And then he thought that I was like hitting on his girl, which he I, was there at the time when you he was there. Yeah, he was there, and yeah, and I guess in hindsight, like I probably wouldn't like it if somebody bought my girl. Well, you, you should have said, can I buy you two a beer? Yeah, I should have, but I he, I didn't even see him there, oh. and then he he started shoving me against the wall, and then uh, I took his wrist and I broke it. Uh, well, first I told him, I go, let's go outside. And then um, I was like, all right, maybe I can get to a better position so I'm not against the wall. And then he was shoving me against the wall, and I got mad. And then I, I snapped his wrist. How do you sn- – don't do it, but just show me. Okay. Like, okay do it. Hurts. Snap that, it. That, snap. That What's wrong with you? You're my friend. <laughs> yeah, but Why mean- would you fucking – what if he instinctually <laughs> – just did it by accident. Come on, good fucking podcasting. Yeah. yeah. You got to go with the numbers. Well, I knew. I, I got to do it. Do it. Do it. I, I need numbers. <laughs> do it. Do it. I need to be Shane Gillis this and Joe gonna, Rogan. This is gonna be Snap like, it. This is gonna be ah! Well, you can feel like you, there's like some play with the cartilage. Yeah. And then, like literally, I don't know, it'd probably be like this much further and it, you, it breaks. Crack. Oh, wow. oh. Yeah, it's not good. Um, but like you can, you can also manipulate somebody and kind of get them to do like, like if you're trying to deescalate a fight, that's one of the best moves. So that's yeah, what I should have done. Yeah, but I not, can get you to do anything I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're like, not, just like that. Like that. Oh, that's yeah. not Taekwondo. You took something else. Um, that's Hapkido. Yeah. Yeah. So I took Hapkido as well. Guys, listen. There's a problem with this guy. He's the nicest. He's Sesame Street <laughs> well, nice, and he'll murder you and fuck your wife's skull <laughs> if he wanted to. That's terrifying. And just Gotta take your my kid. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Dude? <laughs> but that's I would ter- get there and Bonnie would be like, Pete, you're not gonna fuck my skull <laughs> <laughs> again. He'd be like, you're right. <laughs> I just think it's terrifying. I mean, to know that you know you you this, especially your character on stage is this kind of dim-witted, jovial. I'm a sweet guy. Yeah, yeah I, I am. I don't. Um, Where did this? Because you weren't doing that when I met you. Yeah. Um, you, this this almost like um, I would say character of yourself. Yeah. Well, you just enhance it. Where did that come out? It came out because uh, the guys at Governor started hiring me to come out there. I, I came out to open for like Joey Ravioli or something like that. Like, <laughs> oh, I love him. And, yeah, Joey Ravioli. And then I love his uh, Ravioli. I bombed so hard, and then they were like, "When can we get you back?" And I was like, "Why would you want me back? I bombed so hard." And they're they're like, "Dude, we believe in you. Come back." Who and you I, mean, Jimmy, the new owner? Uh, so it was uh, so it was is Jimmy the James like yeah James yeah yeah so um so fucking it was great. like Mark He's- and. And uh, um, like like Mark, the manager there. Oh yeah, at the and, time in Trucin, John, yeah, John Trucin, and those guys. They'd be like, you, "We got to have you back." And I yeah. found out that they, they never booked me. Really, James is the one that booked me. Oh, James. well, I know the guy who owned it before. Who's the guy who owned brokerage the first? Oh, uh, Nick. Yeah, Nick was a dick. Yes, Nick. Was I remember a- I showed up and he's like, "You know, you got to." Like Shut ten up. minutes before the show, he goes, "You know, you got to work clean here." Yeah, and I went. No, it's in my contract. I, you don't can't tell me what to do, but I appreciate you. I'll just leave right now if you need me to. I'll just take off. And he was like, "What?" I go, "I'm doing what I do. Whatever bad experience you had, I'm sorry, but I'm funny, and I'm doing. I, you know, telling me what to do." And he's like, "All right, well, all right, you can do your stuff. You know, just do. You know, I had a thing. I was like, that's cool, but you didn't have it with me. So, and I went up and killed, and he was fine. And then I the next time I went back was James. Yeah, he's the best, man. James, James and his wife <laughs> and his kids. They're the best. I mean, he's terrifying. <laughs> he is. He's like, Bobby, come here for a second. I'm like, oh, fuck, what I do? <laughs> and he brings you in the room. He's like, yeah, I have one of these scars. He's like, oh, thank you, guys. You know what I mean? But he's the best. He's, he's the nicest so guy, great. and he wears suits, and he looks like he gets manicures class. to like hide the evidence. <laughs> like, uh-huh. like he's Class like, act. He's a class yeah. act. He's just one of the- He gives you the numbers. on. He gives you a piece of paper with the numbers in pencil. Here you go. I give that back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta burn it. <laughs> He's such a cool. But those guys would have me come back, and it was like three times that I went back there, and every single time I'd be dry, I, or I'd be uh, riding the Long Island Railroad back, going, "God, I hate this place. I do so bad. Why do they have me back?" So uh, it was the third time that I was back there. I was like, "Why do you guys keep having me back?" They're like, "Cause it's fun to watch you struggle." <laughs> they're, they're like, "We know that you do well in the city, but like out here, you just you suck." And then 
I think it was the fourth fourth time I was back there. I just was like, all right, well, if none of my material works, then I'm maybe I should just talk about like why I think they hate me. And so I was like, hey, you know, like, like I'm really nice. And I, I go, I walk down the street in New York and I'll be like, hi. And people are like, no, you know, <laughs> and the crowd right. loved it. And I was like, wait, what? Like, so they're seeing that my kindness is stupid. And, and so I'm going to go with that. So like all like the one of the toughest rooms in the world that like that governor is like actually helped me like define my point of view. Wow. And I remember one time I was like, I was like, I, I hate conflict unless you guys like it. And then I love it. <laughs> and then it's that funny. like that was in my original Tonight Show set. And so, yeah, that was kind of where I like this, this like, oh, well, I'm I'm a fish out of water uh, kind of a thing in this in this environment. That's oh. that's where I built that. Well, it's fine because you're like, look at the Tonight Show. I love Jimmy. Oh. And uh, I do. I love Jimmy. He's the greatest. He's I such know. a He's great so guy. Nice to us. I know. He's the best. And he put. And he look at me. And the other one, Steve. What's his name? Colbert. Harvey. Colbert doesn't fucking put. He hates comics. Oh, he, he does. Yeah, he doesn't. He the, the Late Show was the Tonight Show and the Late Show. Yeah, were two comic driven milestones to get to. Either oh, one of them a both. Right? Yeah. yeah, Carson. And then, uh, you know, and he fucking killed it. He hates them. Yeah. Yeah, but Jimmy kept it alive. Jimmy yeah. loves stand-ups. He still has stand-ups. Yeah, he still respects them. And, and look, I did it. And, you know, but there's, there's certain guys that it works for. You know what I mean? I couldn't do it. I get too... Like, when I did Kimmel, yeah. I would... First of all, it was set up wrong. The audience is there. You're here. It was Kimmel's not good to do stand-up. It was weird... And then they come down right before my saying, go, oh, you can't do this one joke. I go, you, can't, you right before you're telling me. Yeah. But anyhow, I'd be too nervous to do like, like Bonnie loves doing that kind of TV, you know, Fallon. And Le she did three Letterman's. I'd be so fucking nervous before I went out yeah. to that crowd. You well, don't get the, nervous. Here's the thing. When you do it, I did it one time. You just got to go do your thing. Yeah. And they, I got fucked up. Here's why I got fucked up. Because I went up, they was giving me a standing ovation as I came out. When he introduced me, they stood up, and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> it just it fucks up your timing because you're working the set so yeah. much. Yeah. You know when they're going to laugh. You know yeah. when they potentially might stand up. Blah uh -huh. blah blah. But here's what you did on it that really nobody's done. He's got a standing ovation on the Tonight Show. Oh yeah, I think uh, the only That's standing tough. ovation other than mine was Ryan Hamilton got a standing. He's so ovation. funny too, though. He's so he's so funny. fucking funny. He's, he's yeah. See, he's but you both it. remind me uh, of gayness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the audience loves there. They love they love that. Well, I mean, I'm doing the Tonight Show again ah, in, in Hang on one second, I'm not done. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha. What's wrong? We had a, it was like a build up, bing bang, boom. It was such a good moment, and you fucking smashed it and stepped on it and shit on it. You're so, he's so funny, Ryan. How fucking good is he? Ryan is yeah. he's so great. It, like you know his material about getting hit by a bus. Yeah, he got that, hit by a bus. I, yes. I remember. I was. I just. I just. That saw was his him. god. Yeah, it, that, was that was his, his god, god hitting him by a bus because he's in the city doing the devil's work. <laughs> 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 fucking Mormon. <laughs> Go back oh, to Utah, you assholes. You should be fucking churning butter somewhere. <laughs> yeah. telling you should have nine wives in a fucking... <laughs> so he has nobody. He's I living know. in a fucking I nice know. apartment in Upper West Side, making tons of cash. Oh, yeah. really? Hanging Here out with degenerates. He should be wearing, like, Jesus jams. Yeah, he's yeah. saying hi to me and you. <laughs> God was like, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> hit him with a bus, and it still didn't work. You should be more committed to Zion. <laughs> uh, let me get a tissue real quick. Um... Oh wait, I uh, Zion, Zion just means godliness, right? Is that what that means? Not to the Palestinians. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. Man, I just saw an IDF soldier speak. Oh, really? Holy fuck, man! It's crazy shit. Where? Like in Washington Square Park? No, or? I just saw him. He gave a lecture. Oh, he gave a lecture. Is yeah. that why you're wearing the? Well, I, I mean, wear you're this. wearing that because yeah. I, I wear this a lot, anyhow. I yeah, but I. It was. It's amazing the propaganda. That Hamas is putting out. It's just amazing. Here's the problem with you saying propaganda. What? It infuriates me. 
Oh, so uh, two headliners are talking. So, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, right. I want me and Pete. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm rubbing your glue. Come back, you stink. I'm rubbing uh, your you know, cum. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, with, you're stupid. Burl, you smell. You're a fucking horrible Burl Ives goatee. <laughs> uh, well, you have the same goatee, you fucking stupid old asshole. <laughs> you Burl Ives. You got the you same a, one. Like, like fucking a snowman. I hate movie. you and your little shoulders. I hate. You. <laughs> I hate you and your no shoulders. I hate your rings. I hope they fucking get stolen. I hope they cut them off your fingers. Oh, God, I hate And you try to use your taekwondo and your leg and you snap your Achilles. I, I, I hope three guys hold you down and jerk off on your bald head. I hope you wake up on the Gaza Strip. <laughs> Oh, hopefully I can fucking sell tickets. <laughs> I'm trying to chime in. I'm like, Rich, I hope you still feel small while you stand beside the ocean. <laughs> I hope you dance. Oh, he doesn't got it. <laughs> oh. I did it wrong. <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> By the way, I feel so, like uh, I feel like my internet clip from this episode is just going to be me l- looking at you two laughing. <laughs> no, I, I think it's, all, <laughs> it's just going to be you going... Yeah. <laughs> how many, how many uh, Fallon's did you do? Four? This, this is going to be eight. Eight Fallon's. Wait, we are doing it again this week? Yeah, I'm doing it again this week. Yeah. Now, so. and, and what's his name? Uh, books it. Um, Michael Cox. Michael Cox, who's a great guy, too. Man, just, I mean, uh, I. If dude, any he is, I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. I went on. What was that? It's something in my throat. Yeah, it's called fucking envy and jealousy. No, not at all. He every time I every, met him, he was a nice guy. He's a great guy, but he's he, a great he, guy. He works with the comics and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. My point is, though, is that you know when I did it, I, there's a certain way to do that show, mm-hmm. and you have to be really um, funny. The, no, but you you have to. They're up there. You kind of got to deliver it. You know what I mean? And you got to. You know, you got to know that timing of that type of thing. And here's the thing: it does, it doesn't do what it used to do, but no. for you, it did. Which it is, did. which is fucking, dude. That's really uncanny because yeah, you can do the Tonight Show a lot and it does nothing. For you, it did. Yeah, I had like a 1983 Tonight Show experience. Like, like I, my career was kind of in the toilet. I had, I was with this agency uh, called Stuart Talent here in town. And oh, then, Stuart. Yeah, they dropped me. They, they, <laughs> they dropped me two weeks, and then uh, uh, Fallon saw me at the stand, and then they invited me on the Tonight Show, and then uh, I got the standing <laughs> ovation, and that went viral, and then all of a sudden, I the got, first, your first time on. Yeah, yeah, the first time on, it went wow. viral, which like uh, amazing. Yeah, like yeah, the I Johnny- mean, I, it's, it's such a great show. I hate the way you say viral. Viral. Yeah, I don't say it again. I viral. <laughs> I no go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, Voss is a very viral man. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, complimenting you. Go oh, ahead. thank you. But no, I, and then the second time I went on, it happened again where the clip went viral. All right, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by viral? Be funny if this it's episode. Million? If, yeah, it was. If about this episode ends by him. Way. If yeah. this episode ends by him kicking the shit out of both of us, <laughs> oh, <what if laughs> and just what? breaking our wrists. Oh. I, Ten uh, million views. Yeah, Nikki Glazer and I. We have a we have a pack that we don't read the comments online. And she, I remember, I was in Omaha, Nebraska. I had, I had like gone and done the Tonight Show, flown there to do the weekend. And I woke up on a Saturday, and she's like, "Have you, she's like, go online, read the comments." And I was like, "No, I'm not. We have an agreement. I'm not reading. I'm like, you're not gonna like our relationship is kind of like yours, where we fuck with each other a little bit." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "I'm not reading the comments." And she's like, "Trust me, read them." And they were they were like the most sincere, sweet things. Oh, that's great. You didn't I like see mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Say. Yuck. <laughs> it was they like, were, shut up, stupid. Yeah, it's a standing up and leaving doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, Wait, now a- how many when you like how many times has he got to come out and watch your set? For say for this week, for your eighth. Michael? Yeah. Um I saw him downstairs and then he uh so he he still I've seen him this week, but he hasn't watched the set. So tomorrow he's gonna come watch the set. But uh I texted Liz today and I said, Hey, I changed something major in the in the beginning of my set. I like added a joke and then I I like shuffled the uh, kind of the middle around this joke. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I can I have extra sets tonight to run it? And right. then she texts Michael and was like, Pete changed his set 
And uh, so, snitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a rat. <laughs> she's what a little a fucking rat. Italian little rat. She's a rat. But uh, and then Michael texts me and goes, "Hey, Liz says you changed your set." He's like, "Were you going to tell me?" And then uh, I didn't even see his text, but I ran into him, and he's like, "You changed the set." And I'm like, "Trust me, it's gonna it's gonna be fine." I'm like, "It's go it's going way better," and I'll I'll hammer it out, and if not, we'll just change it back tomorrow. But um, he trusts me at this. Point. Can he? Yeah, of course. You've, you ever, how many? You've done it eight times, and you've mm -hmm. never bombed. Well, you never bombed. Can yet. you say to him, or not say? Can you ask? Go. Can I just come on as a guest without doing a set? Like sit down with. Have you, you sat down? Uh, I've sat down, um, but I've never. I haven't paneled or whatever they call that. Do you want me to call? Yeah, may, I want you to panel. Call. I want you to panel. Will you message the guy that spoke for the IDF and have him reach out to the people <laughs> like at an NBC? Unbelievable speaker. I bet he was. You know that I was the first guy to, when I did it, I, I didn't use a cordless mic. Oh, you used a cord? I said, I need a cord. I like that. And the yeah. guy, the old guy came out, I was coming, he goes, you know, I haven't, I haven't done this in 16 years. <laughs> for real? Yeah. And I go, I'm sorry, dude, I need a cord. Because when I did Carson Daly, mm -hmm. I'm so used to playing the clubs Mm. That I do this when I when a joke and if something's going bad I usually just you know pull, so I'm on Carson Daly going like this with a cordless microphone I'm just going like this and when I came off my my agent was like what the fuck is this and I go this is my nervous tick I was so I, if I was gonna bomb on the Tonight Show I didn't want to fucking just be going like this he's like are you playing a tambourine I was or something? blowing something I was bombing on Keenan so I'm doing remember when Keenan had a show yeah there? so they bring me in. Like a two in the after. I already have anxiety in life. Mm -hmm. I had bad anxiety then. Okay. They bring me in at like two o'clock. Hang on I'm one second. On I'm like the seven. host. Look at me. What's that? I'm the host. Look at me too. So I'm going in. <laughs> I think I'm doing the set. Like anyhow, I'm there like four hours early, just mm -hmm. sitting in the dress room. Fucking anxiety attack, anxiety attack. Oh yeah. Right? So now they're getting ready to bring me on. I'm fucking ready to explode. I'm behind the curtain, you know, where they're gonna introduce me. And then there's some kind of fucking technical. I'm standing there for 45 minutes behind the curtain. Oh, that's the worst. I'm fucking ready to explode. So my intro, because this is an urban audience, was the first white guy on Def Jam. That was my intro. That's a great. That's okay. A great well, he for that show. Not yeah, for that show. Yeah, for, yeah. But hold on. <laughs> so he introduces me. Our next act was on Def Jam. So they didn't say white. So they're expecting like <laughs> Ducky Ducky or whatever. So I walk out and. It's not going well. And I went to plan B. I said to you, and I go, I didn't say fuck you. I go, look, you got in here for free. You want to see fucking Martin Lawrence spend a hundred bucks for free? You get me. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to plan and I just started doing whatever I wanted. Oh my God. And they came up to me after that was great. <laughs> you know. Oh, so you went off script and they were cool oh, with it. I had no choice. He was bombing. Was I was fucking eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I was Oh, uh, please it. find that. I'd yeah. love to see you bomb. I want to see that. Well, no, but I, I think I want him back though. Have you ever bombed on TV? Um uh let me think. I did comedy.tv, you know, you know oh, yeah. the, um, Our, uh, Byron, the Allen. Byron, Byron Allen. Allen. And they were a paid audience and they had been there all day. Oh, it was like hot in the room. Oof. And then they, but they sweetened the laughter and uh, like Byron Allen paid us like a dollar to do that. So they, that's been the most aired thing that I've ever, people will be like, I saw you on comedy.tv. They, re they run it all the time. They run it all the time and they sweeten the laughs and it, and it's like, whoever he is a billionaire. But what's yeah. her name? He is one of the richest guys in Hollywood. Yes. He and bought the weather channel. Yeah. He's he's one of the richest, and he's, it's from us. Yeah. And from that interview show. Well, he also had uh, infomercials, and he would we buy We signed the, our fucking lives away. We what's did. her name? Well, got we did money, though. Bernadette Who? Pauly. She went, her, she she went a after a lawsuit, a class action suit, and every now and you get a check because of her. I don't get anything. Oh, I don't think she liked. It. I just got no, another. Check. I got That's another true. check too. Yeah, I from got, what? Um, from she sued them for basically paying us non-union wages for union stuff, and uh, you got to look into it because yeah. the first check I got was significant, and then now I get like little checks from yeah. little. I mean, dude, the, that I mean, I was on that stupid Comic View two times, and they play that shit all the time. Comic View, Comic View. Yeah, I did that like four fucking times. And you, you're doing your, you don't you're get doing your act. That. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's cable. The day you signed out away on Comic View. I remember yeah. that. Have you bombed on TV? I bombed on Carson Daly twice. <laughs> they, I had mean, you, they had you back. They were like, well, 
did the, everybody bomb? And they were like, well, you Carson Daly, less. Carson Daly, nobody was doing it. And it was after the Tonight Show. Mm-hmm. And it was a tough gig. And there was no opener. And they, they were there to see, you know, he was an MTV guy. So they were there to see whatever fucking weird band he was having on, you know, the, the yeah. Moonlight Johnnies, you know, and he would do this long form interview with an actor for like 40 minutes of this. And, and then he, and then they'd bring you out. And there was no warm up. There was no comedy warm up. There was nothing. He would just, guys, comic, Robert Kelly. And they're like, what? And you're up there in front of these kids waiting for the fucking dark side of the moon punk band to come out. <laughs> and you're like, hey, what's going on, you fucking? It is bad. Nothing. I, I bombed in front of them. And then I bombed in front of, uh, yeah, that's already, don't bring it up. Take it off. What? It, it's something that's already been played. He's fucking, it's oh. something that we did on the bonfire this weekend. I, I That's me bombing. But I didn't really bomb on that. That was outside. I didn't do good, but it was uh, it was outside. And they didn't. Mind. That was the brewer thing in the summer the, was at that the, the beach. Pandemic thing. Oh, that fucking uh, yeah, that bullshit. Yeah, but that was a that's a I don't comics, cons- most comics bombed. Yeah, that. that's outside at yeah. the beach, and it was hundred and ten. Yeah. I don't count that. I mean, it's funny to watch me fucking eat it, but. I legitimately bombed trying yeah. on TV. <laughs> You're trying to three times. Yeah. I Kimmel. I remember I I ta- you know I remember I was with the the Steinbergs. What's that? What's wrong? Uh, What's wrong? Farted. What? No what? What? Nothing. What happened? It's my chair. It's stupid. Did you fart? No, my chair. Made Just it. did you fart? No, I wouldn't I tell you if I farted. <laughs> Swear on them. your daughter's life that you didn't fart. I farted like a maniac. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> only way you can get them to tell the truth. Daughters. Um, <laughs> that's disgusting. Um, I've been farting the whole time, too. But they're silent ones. Um, I'm allergic to people. I, I haven't farted I did, in here yet. I did. Um, oh, was it? Uh, so I had Steinbergs in my management. I don't know if you know these. Yeah, I remember them. Yeah. Okay. So I went to them. I go, listen, you guys aren't doing shit for me. <laughs> You have a month to get me Kimmel. Mm-hmm. I met Kimmel at the thing, blah, blah. You have a month to get me on Kimmel, stand up, and I'm leaving. A month to that day, I said, meet me at Starbucks. And I went down, and he was like, come on, man. I go, you're out. We're done. And I just fired him. And then I called Dan. I go, I need Kimmel. He goes, I right, let me make a call. Texted him. He goes, yeah, we'll have him on this week. <laughs> oh <laughs> that easy. God. That fucking easy. I was on uh, two weeks later. I was on Kimmel. And I, I fucking took a hot one. <laughs> I, I mean, it was not, it was not, it was fine, but it wasn't good. And then Kimmel kind of, I was like, yeah, I'll be in Atlanta. He goes, well, we're not syndicated in Atlanta, but you know, good luck with that. Like the show's not there or something. I was like, well, you could have told me that. I'll tell you two funny shows where I That's bombed. Funny. I bombed on the, well, first of all, it's funny how Dane called and you got it. We yeah. were, we, like we did a half an hour special already for Comedy Central. Yeah. You know, we're having a meeting, selling them a TV show. In the meeting, I go, I want to do another special. They go, okay. That's how easy it was. That's how I, easy it was. That's yeah. How, yeah. Once, you, once yeah. You, they like or you're. Once so you're in, yeah. I did the Apollo and I fucking killed. Killed, right? I believe it. And then they call me and go, come back. <laughs> they go, do you want it? They go, we want you back three weeks later. And I'm like, what? And I, like a dummy, said yes. Well, I uh, I did a, a bit about, uh, you know, people live in the past. I go let it go, you know. I and, and I did. I go, you know, uh, J- Japanese. We dropped a bomb on you. Whatever. Then black people. We we you were brought. A, we we were brought over here on boats. Let I go let it go. You know what a cruise from Africa cost, right? Whatever Shit. I was doing, right? Jews. My own. He's uh, wearing a shirt that says "Never Again." <laughs> right? yeah. So, so yeah, but not only for his people. So <laughs> so I'm I'm fucking I'm eating. What is it. the black saying? <laughs> so I'm eating it. And some girl yelled something. I go, I go. You didn't say that stock line when my balls were smacking you in the chin, right? <laughs> so, and the crowd went wild. And then she says, "I'm going. You gonna let this white boy talk to me that way?" <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh damn! And then they turned. Yeah. Well, they already didn't like me. And then I, she just did whatever. Yeah. And. uh I just I knew they weren't going to air it, so I just went out. Oh wow! Same with Martin Lawrence when I did that show. 
So you um wait so you have the you actually have like because that's that's like a like a, a golden experience it's like a big experience in comedy getting booed off at the well Apollo. that's if you're a open um, mic or stop one second it's a terrible experience <laughs> <laughs> oh no what you did getting a standing ovation much better experience yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking put his career back for six years no it didn't no it, it nobody it, remembers you yo man you know that that white no. guy got booed no no because they didn't air it dummy. Listen, man. Air. They That's aired ter- Keith. They aired Keith when he got booed. Oh, <laughs> Keith getting booed was great. <laughs> what if that would have gone great? Like, do you think that would have changed the trajectory of no, your career? I did one three weeks earlier that went great. I and it killed. Didn't, it didn't change anything. Oh, I did Def Jam before that. Mm-hmm. I, I was the first white guy in Def Jam. Yeah, killed. What did I would call clubs and go? I was on Def Jam. They go, we don't use Def Jam acts. It hurt me. <laughs> they thought I was like some fucking. Def it made Jam. you unbook unbookable. <laughs> unbookable. Oh, you did. You did uh, the voice for Bear, Bear Grylls. No, that's in my or that's on like some that? Wikipedia thing. Uh, so I like I am an editor and I am like an what audio you- editor, but I didn't do I didn't do that show. But I get asked that on almost every show. You 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 you're an audio editor. Yeah, like I, but I just learned like I'm self taught and okay. Um, like I I mean every every day I edit stand up clips and like I've edited you know short films and stuff. Are like you that. still doing clubs or theaters? Uh, I do clubs and then a few theaters. It's, Are you living in L A? No, I'm actually living in Phoenix now. You're married, right? I'm married. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, I married a lady that lives in Phoenix and she had a house there and then we bought another house and then I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, you can't live in someone else's house. No, you can't. You got to get your own house. You got to get your own. And, and I I got rid of my L A place about a a month ago i was all sad but uh, one of my neighbors he was like dude you can just stay at my place whenever you want to come back here so i store my surfboards there uh, i lived like right you're a in the surfer ocean. too i'm a surfer yeah. this guy does everything he's the fucking I whole package I play, yeah but he's a package he's sound editor he's, he's 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 and you acted you you almost got a big role in a tv show too right yeah i almost was ted on how i met your mother that was why i moved to new york because uh, i i was here doing comedy central's premium blend and they were trying to recast the ted character because the focus groups were saying that he was like the least funny of the people or of the characters. So they wanted a comedian and then they ended up going with Josh uh, Radnor, the guy that they already had. Right. But they, they just like were looking at other guys, but um, yeah, I, 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 I had like four auditions, I think for it. And then, wow. I'm so but, glad are you, you are, it. are you, are <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out. I mean, I, I actually, I went into, um, uh, like, you guys remember Rick Dorfman, right? Yes, yeah. he used to be my manager. Yeah, we were managed by him at the same time. Oh, we, he used to be everybody's manager. Yeah, Greg Giraldo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love Rick. Uh, I still text yeah. him on his birthday. I love that guy. But uh, he was like, he's like, hey, we need you to go in and do an audition at CBS, and it's for the lady that really liked you for the other thing. And I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, but I'm like, I'm like, Rick, I'm really sick. Is there any way that like you could just give me a couple days? I don't know if this is like time sensitive. He's like, no, you got to go do it tomorrow. And there was some lady that uh, worked there. I think her name was like Amy something. Uh, you know, she's one of the big oh, casting yeah. directors. Well, she called up Rick and she goes, uh, she goes, yeah, there's something wrong with his voice. You need to have him take voice lessons. And I was like, Rick, I said I do. I didn't even have a voice. Yeah. And then um, she like wouldn't see me again. So I like was like blackballed from CBS. <laughs> wow. Because of your voice. I had like laryngitis. Jesus and, Christ. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought that I was going to move to New York and have like big acting things happen, and then I, have you ever taken acting lessons? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I studied at the uh, the AMAW, the An- Anthony Mindel's act actor workshop here for I, I Sam Morell and I took acting lessons. Sam Morell can act. He can act. He's actually really, well. He's got such he's a, acting he, like your comic. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he acts like a friend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Sam and I were in the same acting class for like a year. Oh no shit! Right. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not like you're a really good actor. I've seen like you and Louie and stuff. Like like you you guys are great. Not you I'm guys. Not. Just keep it over here. Okay. Listen. I was, I was wait. I remember Staten the, Island. What? I remember Lenny the, uh, the thing from uh, ONA, the Louis Beans. Oh, with, little... with, with Cash, <laughs> Palomar, whatever. Palomar. Palomar, yeah, that's his I name. I don't know his fucking name. Palomar. One of the greatest <laughs> actors of our generation and one of the greatest movies ever. Nice one house, One of the greatest too. fucking uh, one-man shows ever. So I'm supposed to know every name? You did a fucking podcast with him a week ago. That was a while ago, but he has a nice house. <laughs> and him. he's a good guy. Nice he's guy. a great guy. What's his name? Like Chaz. Chaz what? Palmentary. Yeah, Palmentary. Palmentary. That was really good. That That's was, not it. You. It's not what it. What is it if it's not Palmentary? It's Chaz. Yes, I said that. What? 
Palminteri. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's Palminteri. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like, that's what it is. Yeah. It's not it. <laughs> did you? Did you want to? <laughs> Did what you did just you want to see him huh? say it a million different yes, ways? Yes, I want it because he'll keep going. He'll keep trying to change it. Chaz Palzanzari? Well, well, Chaz Palminteri. What is it? <laughs> I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> anyway. I remember I was listening to that but you. Episode. But here's the thing with you now. You're, you, it's funny because I like the, when, when you're, you're trying to do something, you're, you're doing all this shit, right? Yeah. You're living your life. You're doing your shit. And then that one, these fucking knuckleheads out there, Something lit up in you, and it worked. And then you bring it to the Tonight Show, yeah. And it murders for you, and yeah. you get you get you go viral. Mm -hmm. You get a huge fan base, and now you're touring. You're living in Phoenix. You're married, yeah. and you're a stand up. That's all you're doing mainly right now. And all the other stuff that you bring out is gravy. Whatever comes out, right? Yeah, that. Well, that's what I like about right now is that I just am a stand up. Like my my agents will be like, "Hey, do you want to do this self tape?" And I'm like, "Not really." Like oh, I don't what tape. Like a self tape, like audition where you gotta yeah. oh, you gotta read the thing is. against Ugh. the wall, and I'm like, I'm like, what is that even for? They'll be they'll be like, hey, do you want to write for the show? And I'm like, no, I don't want to. Like, I want to, I want to do, I want to go on the road. I want to film my sets with my nice camera. I want to put up internet clips. I want people to see it, and I want people to come to my shows. That's all I want to do. Right? Comedy and is the best. To comedy do. is the best. And I like acting. Yeah. Well, you. I love being on a set. I miss be when I miss being on the set of FX when we did Sex and Drugs. I like craft services. I love my little green room. I love my double banger on the street. I love being in New York and being in your trailer. And then Mr. Kelly, and then you come out and you get into the and you go into some location you never be in, and you do your scene. And late at night you come home and you got to learn your line. I love all of it. See that sounds I great. I just don't get what? booked. I love you. Things. I love you too. <laughs> You guys. Yeah, I don't like that. I, that I was like stand up that, tours and big fucking. I love stuff. stand up, but I love going away from stand up for a little bit, doing something else, and then falling in love with stand up again. You know the Bang Bang episode of uh -huh. Louie? Sure. Uh, Nicole and I, because uh, she saw that episode, and we'll, when we go on the roads, we'll do Bang Nicole's Bang. Nicole's your wife. Nicole's my wife. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, we'll eat pizza and then we'll go eat Chinese food, and yeah. we call it a Bang Bang because of you guys, because that's. Well, I what? told him that when he, he we, when I read the script and I, we were about to shoot it, I go, You know, this is a thing now, right? He goes, Yeah, I know. Dude, are you still playing golf? Oh, yeah. Now, now that I'm in Scottsdale. I love uh, that Voss has no concept of segues or anything. He just, <laughs> what he wants to know, we're literally talking about acting and stuff in your career. You still play golf? Yeah. yeah. yeah he I lives in golf. Arizona, the best courses on the planet. Dude, you know how uh, here you can just go to like any show and you'll end up on a on stage with like a really great comic like yourselves? Yeah. And uh, in Scottsdale, you'll just go golfing and you'll get paired up with a random pro golfer. Yeah. Right? And it's insane because yes. all the pro golfers either live there or in Orlando. Or Florida, yeah. And so I got paired up with this guy the other day that was, it was me and my buddy Kevin and then this pro golf kid. And uh, he's he's like literally like, like winning and playing his way on a tour and he's got this whole story and they hit it 300 or something they hit, they're so good to watch they're, they're so, so good fun. to watch and then at the end of the round he was like dude can you give me a ride home i don't have a car right now <laughs> and so i gave him a ride home because i could charge my car up by his house because there was a charger and uh that was a brag. But where do we play? <laughs> we got you it. and I played together somewhere. Where the fuck were we? We were in Vegas. We we were. Um, I think I was working in the cellar, Vegas, or something like that. And I, um, I think you were in town at the MGM, probably. You were doing right. a yeah. You were doing like a like a bigger ticket uh, thing, uh, or maybe it was Jimmy Kimmel's comedy club or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bigger ticket. <laughs> it's, it's the same ticket. It's not just, just a ticket. different ticket in a different location. <laughs> It's a little more money. Really. Not a little. Here's the thing. I went golfing with him. Me and Virgie went golfing. We were in <laughs> Vegas. This fucking piece of shit. First of all, he's just he's just garbage to hang out with. <laughs> he, he's like you. <laughs> you guys fuck. He's so mad at me. At me because I don't play. Uh -huh. you know what I mean, Virgie plays, but I. All right, you guys go take your own cart. I'm not fucking. I'm not dealing with you guys. Have your own cart. So we're like, okay. So he gets on his phone and he steps on the gas to his golf cart. He's in front of us. I have it on video. And he hits a bull cactus straight on and just smashes his fucking chest into the steering wheel. And he gets out. And he goes, hey, I hit my chest. I felt like Kennison. Dude, I'm on the fucking ground. I fell out of my golf cart. I hit my, he's just buckled over. I'm like, fuck. 
<laughs> it made me so happy that he smashed his solar plexus into the steering wheel. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Doesn't know how to drive a golf cart. That made me and laugh then, so hard that water went up my nose <laughs> from my mouth. Like, I almost never, drowned on land. He never played golf and had a birdie. Yeah. I thought, I, really? Oh, yeah. It was yeah, fucking had a great. Birdie. So we go in for lunch and we're sitting this, this milfy waitress comes over. <laughs> and he just walks over. He goes, Hey, hey. She goes, What can I get? He goes, Take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, this is f- like m- heat of me too. <laughs> like in the depths of me too. You know what I mean? We're all walking around like, did I do something? Did I do something? She goes, what can I get you? Why don't you take your shirt off? <laughs> and she laughs. This fucking piece of shit. We connected me and her. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you made me laugh. So it, I remember I was jo- I was judging roast battle with you and Yamanika at the stand. And then she was saying something. It wasn't going anywhere. She goes, sorry. She goes, I took an edible. And you go, was it a meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> Voss is always funny. <laughs> he may fucking swing and miss, but he'll come out with a good one. That was so funny. Oh, the roast battles were fun there. Oh, the those were so much fun. To well, I remember doing them, and then I remember when I was like, I don't want to do them anymore. And then they were like, you can just judge them. And I'm like, this is way better. You can just. Oh, I uh, I'll never do a roast battle. Yeah, well, I, I remember they tried it. to get me to do a Comedy Central, yeah, and me. they tried to get me to replace. I don't know <laughs> yeah. somebody. They wanted me to go up against somebody in Montreal, and I was like, no. No. I'm not fight. First of all, it's three days away. Yeah, no. And they had Ralphie May do it. Oh. And I was fat at the time, too. He and fucking whoever, ate it. I think it was uh, Tony Hinchcliffe. No, he went against fucking, what's his Mike name? Mike Lawrence. Mike Lawrence. Yeah. Well, And they he fucking, he embarrassed Ralph. I think that's yeah. why Ralphie died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he embarrassed him, and that would have been me. That would have been fucking me. And I'm like, I'm not fucking setting myself. I'm not a, I'll sit at the table, you fucking dirty bearded fucking hippie. Yeah. I'll trash your mic, but I'm not, <laughs> yes. I'm not giving you like, six days to nerd out with yeah, a that notepad. Fucking autistic fuck yeah. that, that he sits yeah. up till four in the morning, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll fucking roast you the way you're supposed to be on yeah. the front, right here, <laughs> yeah. right front now, lines. without yeah. any fucking setups and, new, and paper and pen. Fuck that. That's where Bonnie lost it on. They go to you and, uh, he goes to you and Rich want to do roast battle against another couple. So Bonnie goes, who, Natasha and Moshi or mm-hmm. what's a, who's the big podcaster, him and his wife? Uh, Segura. Segura and his wife. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the person goes, nah, maybe Joe listen to his wife. And Bonnie goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie goes, we'll do this. T-. Bonnie goes, how dare you insult us like that? <laughs> it right. just is, you'd hurt his feelings. <laughs> no. I remember that uh, Ralphie May thing because uh, Mike called me beforehand because he had he had pre-written for everyone that was in the bracket. So like he could just go up to Montreal and have all his jokes. Yeah, fucking nerd it out. You give a guy like that, he's a genius. It was, he's literally a genius. And uh, and uh, he was like, he's like, all right, how about this one for Ralphie May? He goes, he goes, your wife just left you. And I'm like, already right, strong start. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he goes, how does it feel to have your wife leave you, but you can't get the ring off your finger? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was for <laughs> that was for Ralphie May. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, Mike, this is this is phenomenal." But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's I I'm, I'm I looked at that and I was like, "Thank God I said no." Oh no, it's it's a lose lose. What do you? Well, I mean, no. If you have enough time, and you're you have you know you're good at that. If you're gonna sit down and, and write, you know who you're going against. You can, you have enough time. Yeah, but it's, roast battle's not like a real roast. It's talking like, to the microphone, you roast, fucking ass fuck. Roast battle is not like a. <laughs> I mean, it's because he doesn't wear headphones. He never does, and he doesn't know that we can't hear him. Because he doesn't know. He thinks we're on well, a you bus. Can, obviously, <laughs> obviously, you could hear me if you said talking to the mic, so you knew I was talking. <laughs> yeah, but you're talking, away, <laughs> talking away from the mic. We can't hear you now. I, I can hear you. I'm in the room with you. You fucking idiot. Okay, dummy. I can hear you, but you can't hear you. Like the people listening. Uh, you know, like I was so bored the other night on the internet. I, I bought, wish you took a gun and put one bullet and just <laughs> spun it until it went off. I, I bought hearing aids. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I don't wear them. I just just in case I need them. That's so funny. <laughs> you bought hearing aids. Do you have a hearing aid right now? No. Oh, it's I'm just gonna a, try. It's like a long gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's wrong with you? Have you ever re- have you ever gone to take a piss and and looked and go, one of your hairs is longer than your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Pete, I apologize. 
This is I didn't come up here to hear this kind of language. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say here. Do you remember at the at the Voss roast? That was one of the best nights that I've ever had in New York City. Oh, thank that you. night was so great. But uh Bonnie was roasting and she's like, Yeah, Rich is so old. Rich, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> she just like doubled down by what yelling. What joke it? about you? Bonnie came to like she wanted to marry a rich comedian. She got the wrong rich. No, oh, she oh, came to she came to this rich. country to get stupid rich. Stupid. Florentine did that. Stupid rich. What a great joke. You no, know, it was good when Big J called <laughs> Norton a pond turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was the best when I. Sh- when I showed, when I showed the guy she was dating before you, the oh. famous actor, yeah. and I showed all Nathan this, something. Yeah, he showed all his credits. <laughs> He's been a superstar for fifteen years. Yes. and then I showed Voss's actual tour dates, and it was like <laughs> okay. uh, Winnie, Winnie, two two Florida, the f- <laughs> the fun fuck, the fun hut. It's like what, what the fuck was that? It was so oh. bad. Uh, all right, listen, I got questions for you, dude. All right, so you married? You got any kids? No, no, but we want them. We're going to have kids. kids. Yeah. You guys both have kids. Uh, should I do it? I have three grandkids. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You should definitely do it, dude. If yeah, you're mar- are you kidding There's no me? reason, yeah. to, in my eyes, to get there's married. no reason to marry somebody if you're not going to have a kid. Yeah. Just be together. If you don't believe in God, if you're not into <laughs> Jesus, I mean, what? It, I mean, it really is. I mean, it's it, oh, marriage is a, is a thing, a, a, a ceremony, religious ceremony. So that you guys can be under God together forever, and then you have a child. Oh, yeah, I, oh, I never wanted to have kids oh, in my second. life. For the love oh, of God. God, for the love of God, is that oh, what you said? Yes, you for the love of God. He doesn't like so God he, talk because no. I love that he's such a Jew, but he hates God. <laughs> no, I don't hate God. I'm very, I believe in a power greater than myself. Uh, Everybody, I call that. I believe person that's Andrew Schultz, <laughs> but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, when you get yeah, why yeah. you say why does that bother you that I'm saying that's what it is that's what a marriage ceremony no, is not, it's no no that's not every no some people are not really get married by a mayor in Canada or uh, is that you oh yeah <laughs> 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 the origins of a marriage is a religious event and then you have kids. I wouldn't get yeah. married if I wasn't going to have kids. So, yes, have a kid. Yeah. Get yeah, married. I, by the way, Bobby, you saying that is a blessing. I just feel so blessed and heavenly. I just wanted to talk about God more. <laughs> I have nothing Are you I religious? Uh, no, I'm, I'm like spiritual. I, I don't know. I this is I uh, I feel corny talking about it. Don't even. I think that God is the power of love in the world. And I think every religion is selling the same thing, like except for they branded it. And then and it's not like a bad thing. I just think that they they had a message that like that the people in that region or that area could relate to. Mm-hmm. And but I think it's all like I think God is love. I, that's the, the whole thing, is what I think. You hate me? Yeah, no, I yeah, believe you. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just I, counting in my head till he says something mean to you. I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> mean to you. I, I love him for loving that. Yeah. Okay. I, right. And I, I mean, you know, I used to. I remember before Bobby got in shape, I used to pray to him. <laughs> <laughs> I used to light incense around him and pray to him. <laughs> See? I knew it was coming. I knew you had a moment, and I was into it. And he can't. He. Voss can't have moments. He gets he too was, uncomfortable. I just can't believe he didn't just kill me for that, and he just went. No, oh, oh, he because he didn't have anything for you. He had. No, I, he always has a. F- he still does fat jokes on me. No, I didn't do a fat joke. You called me Buddha. You said you worship. You prayed to me. I didn't say. You Buddha. said you That's put fucking security. In, you said you put fruit and incense by my feet. I didn't say fruit. I said incense. <laughs> you said Rory. I wouldn't have put fruit because you would have ate it. No. <laughs> uh, no. How old? I, how old are you now? I'm 46. Yeah, have a kid. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Wait, I... slow down. You don't have a kid with a hair lip. <laughs> He's old. He's fucking. No. Get your jizz check I'm first. Gonna, I'm not gonna be. How old's your wife? Uh, she's 34. Oh, yeah, easily. no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Easily. So I'm yeah, gonna... but get your jizz check. You don't have oh. some fucking deformed kid. You got to. Mm. You don't have to push up. You don't push him. A fucking weirdo around Walmart in a fucking chair. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> fucking dad, and everybody hates Jesus. you on the plane. <laughs> fucked up. You can't tell by your jizz how your kids. Yes, you gonna... can. No, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> no, are you kidding me? Yeah, now you can. That you, your jizz is gonna say how you're. You kidding. go get your jizz checked out. They can when you when I got my jizz checked out to make sure I could have a baby. They can look at. Oh, Danny, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, their parents would have killed that fucking. He would have never come inside her. Oh, that would have been on the wall. That'd be funny when they look at. They looked under the microscope. They just see a bunch of jizz with Danny's stupid eyebrows. <laughs> And the kids won't drive. Yeah. 
And it won't look the, the egg in the eye. The, 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 the <laughs> jizz is always asking the other jizz for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a ride upstream? <laughs> yeah, they keep going around the egg. <laughs> but this is going, I have a nice sound system. <laughs> they have the same Malcolm X glasses. <laughs> oh, those are Malcolm X glasses. Yeah, he's very militant. Um, all right, weird. we got to wrap it up. Listen, dude, uh, what do you got coming up? You got the Tonight uh, Show. I'm on the Tonight Show. Tell the show. live people, what, when is that on? Uh, it's on this Friday, uh, the 26th of January. And then um, uh, just come see me on tour and uh, watch my clips. My my tour dates are at PeteLee.net. Uh, I'm on social media at PeteLee, PeteLee, PeteLee. It's my name three times. So funny. It's All I want is for you to watch my clips and come see me live. That's all I care about. Very funny. Hilarious. I mean, a man's man. A man's man. You're a I'm man's man. You. You're damn right. You guys, I I love both of you as comics so much and as friends. And thanks, for you guys. No, man. I'm glad you came on. I'm glad we got to hang out. It's been a long time. Good luck on Friday. What do you got besides uh, fucking I just autism and a bad hip? <laughs> please don't watch Pete Lee's clips. Uh, <laughs> no. <please. laughs> your, your plugs. Don't go to his shows. Don't watch his clips. Abandon him and leave bad comments. <laughs> That was like a little bit of Raina speaking through you. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> so funny. We used to we used to always go out, me, Bonnie, you, and Emily, back when we were yeah, dating her. God, I remember that. Damn, we used to go out to eat. And anyhow, what do I? I don't know what I. Uh, You're gonna be in Kentucky on ugh. February. Oh, Kentucky where? Uh, at the Comedy Commonwealth. What? Yeah. I don't what? know. Well, will you stop working? I, well, I got good stuff coming. I want to say this: mother, you mother. don't have to work. Your wife makes a lot of money. So do I. I okay. do well. Okay, fine. But you don't have to do you don't have to do comedy in Kentucky anymore. I, I want to get out. I like I like doing comedy. I don't give a fuck if it's Kentucky or whatever. What well, comedy? Com <laughs> Laugh Boston. I'm going to Laugh Boston. Laugh Boston's great. I'm there it. too. Yeah. yeah. La Loft Comedy Club in Chicken. Oh, Pete. that's canceled. The Rick Bronson. <laughs> you got to take that off. You're doing Rick Bronson's House of Comedy in Arizona. So I can play golf. Oh, we can play golf. Yeah. All right. Hyenas Comedy Club in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm not doing hyenas. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. What's that? Oh, called? you're going to be at South by oh, Southwest. Oh, hyenas. What's hyenas? That's hyenas. I'm not. Hyenas. Who the fuck? Why did Mike put that there? And I mean, <laughs> Mush, Mush just added dates to his. Yeah, and I just canceled <laughs> South by Southwest. Uh, oh, damn. I'm I'm going to be there. We could have hung out. Uh, South by Southwest. Yeah. But I'm not coming in until the 10th. All right, well, go to robertkellylive.com. I, of course, this weekend, all the shows are sold out in Providence. We added Sunday. Uh, there's a show added on Sunday. So get your tickets. It's up on there now. Uh, Point Pleasant, Uncle Vinny's Friday and Saturday. And then I'm going to be at uh, Mohegan Sun in um, in uh, Connecticut at the uh, Comics Roadhouse on the 7th through the 9th. Side split is in Tampa in March, the 14th through the 16th. And am I doing, I'm doing Thursday. Oh, fuck off. Why well, am I cutting that Thursday? I'm not doing I Thursday. I can't do Thursday. Fuck. What's wrong with these people? Fucking three shows. I'm not doing it. Uh, the 22nd to the 23rd at Poughkeepsie, Houston. I'm doing uh, all all this stuff's up there. Robert Kelly Live. Check me out, of course. Go to comicwearables.com. We got the regs hat. We got the YKWD merch. Those YKWD hoodies are awesome. Get yourself one of those. What a great winter gift. Get yourself one of those. Use code word. We got the beanies up there. Use code word. Ladybugs get 20% off. And also, of course, uh, go to punchup.live and watch my special. It's up there. Up there free. If you're a fan of mine, I need you to go up there and uh, just, you know, How do you sign spell? in. How do you spell hyenas? Uh, <laughs> F-U-C-K-O-F-F. -F. And then make sure you check out Bone to Pick podcast. Me and Paul Verzi. <laughs> <laughs> Are you spinning? <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give me a plug. <laughs> Max Marcus Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> February 22nd is the five year anniversary of my show Comedy at Vervin, Somerville, New Jersey. Come through. Yeah. You can check out the cheese show Don't say cheese. Don't say cheese. <laughs> oh, you just. <laughs> what the fuck came out of you? You, what are you, Godzilla? Oh my God. What the fuck just came out of you? Are you dying? No, it's just. It was black and brown and green. <laughs> Go throw it out. You're a fucking menace. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll see you. Pete Lee. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. You're the best fans of the world. You're the best fans of the world. You know what, dude? We'll see you next week. God damn it, Voss. You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.